Alright, hello and welcome to PSLBB on a DDR pad, which I'm dancing naked on to make it extra fun, although I'm not going to show myself in this video. But just believe that I'm doing this all on a DDR pad. I'll, I should have said that at the end, seeing if anybody could actually notice the difference or something. Faster than most people can probably do it on a keyboard or other controller. Oh, please stop falling down. It's not a lucky start here. Ah. Uh, I haven't set up the software on this new computer yet to be able to capture. Um, oh, that was a tri-fluid, but it doesn't matter all that much. I haven't set up being able to actually capture on my camera yet on this computer. Um. <sighs> so anyway, we go here, we set up some decoys, and then we do this. Pressing the switch doesn't actually do anything, by the way. So you just need to push up against it like that, and it'll spawn the enemies. There's actually not much point in actually pressing it. So, the, the main point of this is, it's a major part of my master plan to get strong in this game, that I want to just be able to do this on a DDR pad, um, and play on, on like a Steam Deck or, you know, a second box, basically, uh, in a whole separate room entirely. And multi-boxing is actually allowed if you're playing in the classic drop style. And so since I'm technically playing in classic drop style, you know, there's like no other players here, that's actually legal. Ah, oh, shoot, where's the photon drop? Guarded by a telepipe, and now I just slowed myself down getting it. Whatever. Still worth it to get it. Oh, I should heal. Alright. Now, the hardest part of the whole thing turning around. <laughs> okay, so I found you can just do that, and I can turn around without slowing down too much. See, obviously, if I were playing on a keyboard, I wouldn't have to do weird, that kind of thing, trying to turn around. <laughs> it's so hard. No, 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 not that button. <laughs> and I can mispress buttons way more easily on here, too. On a keyboard, I wouldn't have magically opened the menu. <laughs> Alright, take this. And this, and this, and this, and this, and... Dang it, he's out of range. Uh, heal. <gasps> All right, so here you want to get, like, right as close to the center of the room as possible, and not open the menu. <laughs> uh... So on, yeah, the, you hit the four S blues in the four corners like that really easily as long as you're right in the center. So that was like the ideal scenario right there. This you could finish him off faster with another Abarta, but I like to get Efoy set up the next way. No, 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 get out of that. All right. So another fun fact that I've discovered from leveling up this guy, and I'm unsealing two limiters during this, by the way is that the game will recalculate your stats every time you go to the lobby and then put your level before the limiters again until you exit the game entirely. Dang it. And so you only get one run with max stats per, um, per time you start the game if you've used any materials beyond your uh, stat caps. Which I guess normally you don't do, but for this guy, since all I care about is the um, MST and defense I actually have. And so, for him, since when you slash lobby, it puts your level before the equipment, and then it does your equipment in order, top down. Um, then he, uh, 
actually loses some stats every time I go to the lobby until I log back in again. Okay, activate stealth mode. They found it to just walk past these guys. Who cares? I just want that lane. Ah. Besides, actually, the Gifoys from here can kill the enemies in the previous room anyways. So I like to just do that. I'm not going to bother trying to pick up a bazillion tiny pieces of Masato. That really, uh, on a keyboard I like to do that, but on here... No, oh, that's the wrong button. On here, that, uh, that uh, tires me out. Tires me out more than it's worth <laughs> to get tiny amounts of Masetta. Alright, so they'll stand here and spam defoys, enemies spawn all around you. I don't know any faster way of doing it than just this. So using Naga, it's like uh, 15 defense, 185 mind mag, 2 limiters, a um, Heavenly HP, which I don't know if we even need anymore at this level, but I'm still using it. The point is to not get knocked down by even critical hits from S Blues, which was a problem at lower levels. fluid with slowing down as little as possible. That was actually a really efficient way of getting that off. Go to the final room. Alrighty. Feel the burn. Alright, we need to heal. I need to heal. Beautiful. Although now I don't have Gifoys stacked up for this wave, which kind of sucks, but it's not that big of a deal. If you get hit at the right time, it actually speeds up your casting. Huh? Thanks, S Blue. You helped me. Alright. Uh, well, good enough. A good game. I'll just leave it there. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye bye.